Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Mr. Stan coming back at you. And this normally would be kind of like the time where I, you would see me do like one of my shopping videos or whatnot, but so, so sad recently in Hong Kong, they have actually come under quarantine for certain areas. So as you know, the COVID situation this time around has gotten actually quite, um, it, it's gotten a bit worse. Probably obviously still is not as bad as how it is back in the States or in the UK. But I mean, for Hong Kong being a small city of such a big up population, it's not it's not anywhere near where you can just sit back and relax. Let's put it that way. So in turns, I'm still doing, you know, a lot of like, you know, shopping here and there, but I'm doing protective shopping. Okay. So that's why I won't be pretty much out and about as much as I was in the past to uh, do any, um, any videos outside. You know, I'm just trying to try to keep it safe, be responsible. And that's what everyone else should do as well until things get better. And of course, when the vaccine comes out, then everybody can go out and sort of relax again. But you know, from then on right now, we all have to really take care of ourselves and take care of others around us you know i mean you guys yeah honestly seriously i mean whatever you do just like don't go through big parties you know uh minimize you know interaction with a lot of people it, it, it'll just make everything else safer but in any case guys without further ado let me go ahead and show you a couple of things that i have picked up or probably that you've probably seen already locally because like again this seems like for the transformers situation uh things are getting rolling out in the states they used to come here in hong kong a lot earlier but nowadays I see that a lot of the Hasbro Transformers, well, they, you know, they're actually, it's reversed. In the past, we could get it first, and now you guys got it first. But hey, I'm happy to get it either way, regardless if I review it or not, right? So what I've gotten here, let me go ahead and show you guys. I have gotten, oh, finally I've gotten my Studio Series. Studio Series 86 Grimlock and Autobot Wheelie. I was actually quite stoked from this, because as you know from the, this is a really nostalgic form from the original 1986 Transformers movie, where basically um, he met Wheelie, wheelie like like rat rode on his back this is where they met and they just you know squashed the quintessence when that door came down which is totally cool uh and i'm just you know really happy to get this piece i was really eyeing it simply of the fact that it came as wheelie of course and i'm hoping later down the line okay i can use it in a video review or whatnot i probably won't do a review on this because again the videos reviews of this have actually been out for quite a while already and this is not a new thing pretty much right i just want to show you guys things that you haven't seen yet or you haven't gotten in shops yet all right Moving on, other Transformer items. Well, you guys already know about the Ectotron, right? Uh, let's see, I believe it's, it's this is like the second time around. So we got Ectotron, I got both versions. This one you guys probably saw in Walmart already. This one I'm not sure if you have in your shelves around um, Walmart, Target, whatnot. But this is the, you could say the original G1 box right here, all right? And here of course is the US version uh, that you guys are probably finding already in your Walmarts, Targets, whatnot. And I got both versions so I thought that was pretty cool because the US version comes with a comic book. There is a slight difference I can see already between like the molds simply because I believe the US version comes with you could say a bit of wear and tear maybe yeah it looks like it's kind of scuffed up from the box and the one that has the original G1 box that is pretty much um, uh, you could say factory rollout from the <laughs> from the shop or from the um, you know from the Ghostbusters headquarters all right so moving on I got a hot toys man hot toys like guys seriously when you guys collect hot toys like I do as well you always go and go ahead and put in those pre-orders and like you know how it is the pre-orders you do like years before right this is i think wow this is right here i've got another figure that came from the in-game movie and that's already been passed what two years ago 2000 and um is it 18 i forgot when the movie came out <laughs> it's been that long actually not that long but still kind of long and so this finally came in they gave me the uh, message i can come pick it up and finally i got my and it's in here. Here we go, guys. This is the Mach 85. That's right. This is the Iron Man suit, the last suit that Tony Stark wore before, of course, he took the gauntlet and then he pretty much snapped his fingers, wiped Santos out, everybody. Iron Man. 
and then of course uh, killed himself in the process. So, <laughs> but this of course is the original first version. There is another version that Hot Toys made, which is Battle Damage. This is not the Battle Damage. And also when I went to go pick this up, I asked specifically, is Hot Toys going to make the accessory set for the Mach 85, which is what most of us want who are collectors of Hot Toys. We want the accessory set, right? The one where he has a shield, he does that, you know, beam thing that charges up using Thor's like electricity. Are they gonna come out with that set? And the answer was, probably not. Oh my God, Hot Toys, what are you guys doing? Please, my God, why in the world would you not make a set for the Mach 85, but you guys made one for the Mach 50? What the, what, what the heck is going on? That's right, you heard me right. If you guys remember, okay, from the Infinity Wars movie before the end game, they, uh, a Tony Stark suit before, they made an accessory set for him. And this time they said, and I did see, there were supposed to be images of him using it, but I guess, I don't know, maybe the COVID has caused the factory to have some problems. And so they decided to go all, you know, no, I do hope later in the future, guys, seriously, Hot Toys, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't and don't care about, please consider putting the accessory set as an option later on. You did it for the Hulkbuster. You did it for the Iron Man Mach 50. So come on, Mach 85. We need one, guys. Honestly, we need one. Okay. And finally, the one that last thing I picked up was from the 80s toy shop. If you guys don't know where that shop is, you guys can see in my past videos when I go to Sham Shui Po, that's where I normally go. It's called the 80s toy shop. And they usually they deal with a lot of like third party type of toys. They also have, of course, a lot of KO items. But in any case, uh, another third party. And this is more for the Gunpla fans in here. And uh, this right here, huge brown box, okay? This is called the MNQ04. And exactly what does MNQ04 mean? Well, I've already kind of like inspected it because that's what they usually do when I am at the 80s toy shop. And if you look over here, folks, wow, well, you're probably thinking, what in the holy bejesus is that? Well, this right here, my friends, is a, oh, it's a third party rendition of a Gunpla variation you could say, of a metal build, and this is just totally awesome. This is called the MNQ-04 Gan Jiang, right? But actually, this actually comes off of a spinoff, and I'll, let me see if I can show you guys a better photo. Um, yeah, it's its its own storyline, but the actual suit, the actual mech, check this out, guys. The actual mech inside here is like a really bad ass version of like, you would say a cross between the Destiny and maybe I I would have to say a cross between the Destiny because it definitely has like that Destiny Wings feel, but it also has some feel of Gundam Wing and all this other stuff. I mean, this guy is fully armored up and I hope that the next review that you guys will see will be on this one because this is just so awesome, dude. This is so awesome, guys. For you mecha fans out there, you're going to love to see this and I hope you all actually have pre-ordered yours as well. I just got this a couple days ago from the 80s shop, picked it up and it's just so awesome. I was so amazed, especially when I opened it up to check the QC, the quality, because that's what we gotta do nowadays. So it just, you know, it's, it's helpful for everybody. But in any case, all right guys. Uh, also, one more thing guys, I need to uh, go ahead and reiterate. Uh, what's the past review when you guys saw me do the uh, review for the G.I. Joe redecos of uh, Roadblock and Scarlet? All right, so this is more tactical. I think this is what most people complained about. Maybe they didn't want him to look so ghetto in this one. And I want to make an apology to those of you who got offended through my use of language, guys. Honestly, I did not even know that it was offensive. And honestly, I, it was just for myself being kind of funny, which, of course, wasn't funny for most of you or some of you who, of course, disliked it. And you guys saw I apologize again to you guys in the comment section below and I will again take note of not using words that may be offensive to some of you viewers and subscribers there so again I apologize you know again I, I guys this is a whole learning process for me and the only thing I can do is apologize and make up and make sure the mistake doesn't happen again so again in that last review for G.I. Joe if you guys were offended with me saying some things about Roblox and whatnot about the design I was just me being kind of funny and I thought it was kind of funny but of course that is not the right way to go I completely understand and I apologize for it. So please, in the future, guys, let me know what you guys think. Any of those, uh, again, whatever it takes, guys, whatever it takes. And as they say, knowing is half the battle, right? Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, so, guys, keep those comments going. And I appreciate you again for you guys watching. Everybody at home, please stay safe again. And we'll see you guys on the next video.